another normal day in La Paz after the uh, Hurricane K. Um, everything's back to normal, nice and sunny, nice and warm. And uh, morning coffee, just contemplating uh, what projects I'm going to do today. As it's Saturday, I think I'll make them pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, the first thing, uh, let me think, is replace all the bungee cords on the sun awnings. And after that, there's a couple of rust spots on the uh, cockpit cushions. And then I think I'll have a bit of fun and drop the dinghy in the water. Uh, put some, put the uh, uh, dinghy wheels on, stick the engine on, um, create some more space in the lazarette, take it for a run, and uh, I think that'll be about it for today. Um, and then go out for something to eat tonight. So uh, wish me luck, and um, I'll see you later. Ooh, it is hot. Yeah, they're pretty much uh, shot. Fairly easy to fix though, which is uh, quite fortunate. I'll only do one on the video, and uh, well, there's about well, 40 to do, so it's going to take a while. It's a bit hot under the shade, but it's, at least it's back to the lovely weather. When I left Australia a few weeks ago, it was uh, midwinter, so it was quite nice to uh, come back. Oh, sorry, not come back to get here, although it is midsummer, so it's, it is pretty warm. Right, how did this work? Okay, in there, around there, and in there. All right, yeah, that's the way you do it. through there, around that. These are quite nice actually, just to adjust them to the length you want. And done. Only another 40 to go. See you later. All done and finished. They look a lot tighter now with those uh, new bungees on. Looks nice. All done. Pretty easy. I just had a laugh to myself. I was thinking the last time I saw a mess like that on the floor was at the hairdressers about 40 years ago. I don't have that problem anymore. So now it's just time to uh, clean up. nice boat.
I decided a quick and easy project would be to varnish the flagpole and I'm pleased to say it went without a hitch well nearly it didn't drip on the seat but uh, I forgot to uh, clean the brush at the end of it and had to throw it in the bin but overall that was a successful one so I want to share a funny story with you um, I've been having trouble with the uh, lithium batteries my head's still in lead acid so um, it's been a bit of a steep learning curve I couldn't understand why the batteries would charge off the solar panels they would charge when I started the engine but when I plugged into shore power there's no power coming through and because it's been cloudy for a few days the uh, batteries have dropped quite a bit so I phoned uh, Rich Boring from La Paz Cruiser Supplies uh, who sell and install uh, lithium battery systems and he said he would come over in the morning and take me through the software which was great so the night before I'm thinking well I better take everything out of the lockers uh, uncover the batteries so it's all ready for when Rich arrives so I turned the boat upside down getting everything out and then um, I looked at the, uh, battery man Vec uh, the Victron battery management system which uh, I, I view on my iPad and there was also a small blue box appear as well as the uh, man battery management system. I'm assuming this is some sort of controller. So I think, well, I don't know where that is. I better go look for it. So I emptied every locker on the boat. I emptied the lazarettes. There wasn't a cupboard on the boat that I didn't turn out and I couldn't find it. Eventually, after about two hours, I uh, phoned the previous owner and said, where did you install the blue box? His response was, what blue box? I said, the one that shows up on the... Uh, on the management system. He said, no, um, there's only the Victron management system. And I said, well, mine is showing up something else. Anyway, to cut a long story short, it appears, because all this is connected by Bluetooth, I picked up the box from the next boat. <laughs> so then I had to spend the next couple of hours putting everything back uh, ready for um, or leaving the stuff out for Rich in the morning so anyway when Richard turned up uh, the problem with the battery not charging from the shore power was one of the settings was wrong uh, we just needed to increase it well it, it was set not to kick in until the volts dropped to 12.8 so we moved it up to 14.2 and everything's fine so um, that's all sorted but uh, it's been a bit of a, uh, a learning curve with these lithiums. They're fantastic, but um, you've got to change your mindset on them um, if you're used to uh, old lead acid uh, battery type systems. So anyway, a, a good outcome, it's all working. Um, there are, the only thing I've really got left to do, um, one of the shower sumps is not pumping out, it was. Um, the other one works, so it's probably not a fuse. So I've got to uh, find out what's happening with that. And then on Sunday, I've got some friends coming down from, uh, driving down from uh, San Francisco. And they're bringing down lots of boat goodies for me, some parts that I need. Uh, the main thing being a um, 250 feet of uh, new anchor chain and a new bilge pump because the, the main one um, seized up. So that's got to be changed. And, um, and also a, um, a rocker switch. Um, I'm going to set up a, uh, the ability to raise and lower the anchor from the, uh, uh, from the cockpit. Uh, as a single hander, um, sometimes you need it if it's, if it's blowing a bit to get, at least get the anchor down um, before you sort yourself out. All I do is buy 50 feet of uh, extension cable from Home Depot um, connect that to the solenoid, run it back through the boat, connect it to the, uh, the rocker switch and it will lift the anchor up and drop the anchor down. Um, works brilliantly and uh, it's a cheap way of uh, you know, achieving the ability to uh, raise and lower the anchor from the cockpit. So 
I think next week is going to be full of uh, new projects. There's all sorts, of, all sorts of other stuff they're bringing down, mainly bits and pieces, but um, I think it's going to be a busy week. And then I intend leaving the marina probably at the end of the month um, and sailing up into the Sea of Cortez um, till about November. So I've got to stop the boat. Uh, which I've started, but um, doing that in taxi is not the easiest thing in the world to do. So there we go, next week, busy. Uh, thanks very much for watching the videos. I've had some great comments from people, um, lots of people viewing, and um, yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button. Actually, I don't know whether the notification button comes up. I haven't figured out to put that out onto the videos yet, but uh, that'll come. Um, thanks very much and uh, hope you're all having a great time.